Hi everyone, I took apart my Zen U1 bezel to remove the anti-reflective coating from the crystal. Just want to show you a quick peek of what's going on here. The sapphire crystal, as you can see, is very tall. And then underneath it, there's a rim. And that's where the, um, you'll see later on what, what goes into that rim to secure the bezel. But uh, inside, there's another groove with three sets of five holes. Now, three of those holes are used so that you can uh, secure the, the ratcheting insert. There's three feet on it, but that begs the question, what are the other holes for? So I'm just postulating that perhaps the other holes are for catching debris or sand that might find their way into the bezel. In that case, I, I think that's a pretty smart system from Zen. Anyway, it takes a little bit of effort to get that seated, but here's the bezel itself. It's a 60 click bezel. And then if inside, if you see there's like a, almost like a brass or bronze kind of ring that's inserted laterally around it. And then you see the holes on the outside of those are for tiny hole, uh, tiny screws to go into. And they would push against that rim and then catch it in that groove that I showed earlier. So that holds the bezel on, making it pretty much impossible to take off. And here are the screws. And I was using just the tool. It fits really well. This is the tool that came with the watch. So that's it, guys. What do you think? Did you learn something new? I know that I sure did. I was always wondering what was actually going on under the bezel, the captive bezel system of the Zen U1.